Hey guys, Crystal here at Crystal's Crafties. And in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the Samantha font in Cricut Design Space. And we are talking about the real Samantha font, um, not the ones that you can get for free from um, Defont or Font Space or any other of those sites. Um, we're talking about the super expensive paid one. So if you go to Laura Worthington's site, you can see the Samantha font here, and it's $75. No one wants to do that. So I have this coupon code for you where you can get the Samantha font for $17. So make sure you use the link to get the font. But not just that, let me show you. So she's got Samantha upright and italic, and she's got Samantha bold, but she also has something super awesome, and it is Samantha Craft. This is fabulous because it is an extra thick font, so it is easy to use in cutting machines like our Cricut. If you have the regular Samantha font, you know you have to um, thicken it up with an offset or something to get it to cut really clean. Otherwise, it's just so skinny when you're using these extra little things. But if you get this Samantha Craft, you won't have to do any of that. It's going to be amazing. So the link will take you to this page. And if you click Buy Now, you're going to get these options. Scroll down here to Samantha Craft, and then you can check out and get that font. Um, I've already got it, so I'm obviously not going to do that again. Um, when you download it to your computer, Make sure you, if you have a Windows PC, make sure you are using that install for all users option. Let me show you what I mean. Let me just get another font here from my computer. Okay, I'm just gonna do this Scarify right here so I can show you what I'm talking about. Samantha's there, but it's in a zip folder. So if you right click, you're gonna get this option, install for all users. Do that so that it will pull up in Cricut Design Space, it will pull up in Inkscape, it will pull up in Adobe, it will pull up in whatever programs you're using on your computer. Okay, so get the font, install the font, and then open Design Space. If you have Design Space opened before you install that font, it will not show up in here and you won't be able to use it. You'll think what happened. So make sure you get the font, install for all users, and then open Cricut Design Space. Okay, so here we are. We can start using this font. It's going to be amazing. I'm going to just hide this whole thing for right now so that um, you can see my screen and what all I'm going to work on. So, okay, I'm going to come to text, and I'm going to come up here, and it's going to show me, you know, all of these texts in Design Space, but if you just use your search, and type in Sam, you will see Samantha font pull up. Click into that, and now your text box here will have Samantha font. So we've got this, Samantha. But it doesn't look, oops, that's not how you spell Samantha. There we go. But it doesn't look all fancy like it did in my example. Let me show you how you get all of that super, super fancy stuff. It's with a font manager. So, font managers, there's lots of them. There's free ones within Windows. There's um, free ones other places. I really like to use the free font manager from Creative Fabrica because it will store all of my fonts in this um, in the cloud so that I can free some up off of my computer. And its functionality is a lot easier than um, the free one, the character map in your computer. So here I am over at Creative Fabrica and I'll link to this as well. Come over here to tools and open up font cloud. Open font cloud. And you'll see over here, you can install all of the fonts you wanna browse your computer and put in, you know, the fonts that you want to put in here. So I have all of mine in a font folder. I'd come over here and I'd just 
you know, import whatever fonts, but I already have them in here, so I don't need to do that. So these are all the fonts I have, but it also shows you all of them right up here from the beginning. So if I type Samantha, I can see what this is going to look like in every font that I have installed into font space. So that in and of itself is just flipping amazing. And it's one of the reasons that I love font cloud, but that is neither here nor there really for this tutorial. Let me find my Samantha font. Where is it? Sherlyn Samantha. Okay. So I clicked into that. Now I'm going to type my word here again and you'll see all of these boxes look at all these a's and these are just the capital a's and we're still going there's still this many a's to choose from oh what still going this font is fabulous and that is why it's worth every penny you're going to pay for it but i don't want an a i want an s so i'm going to scroll 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 until i get to the s's let's see I went past the S's. Here we go. Okay, what S do I want? And say this is a little too small for you to see, you can make this bigger. You just kind of click the little plus and now it's all bigger. Okay, I think I used this guy for the example. So I clicked it and it said that it copied it to my um, clipboard. So now I'm going to come up here to where I typed my word. I'm going to delete that first S and I'm going to paste in the one that I just copied to my clipboard. So you saw that I deleted the first S and I clicked control V, which is the quick command for paste. I could have also right clicked and pasted that in as well. Okay. So there I got my S. Okay. What was the next thing I did? I think I got some fancy A's on there. So let me keep going down. I've got all the capital letters first. Once I get past them, I can get to my lowercase fancy letters. Okay. I'm not even sure which A I used. Let me pull this up so I can look at it again. Okay, there we go. So it was this one. So I copied it. See, character copied to the clipboard. All I had to do was click it. Come in here, delete. Control V to paste. And then I also had one over here at the end. So I'm going to go ahead and grab that while I'm here. Let me go find it. Look at how many characters there are. Like this font is just truly amazing. I believe it was this one. So Control V and there's that. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Now I just need the N, I believe. Is that all I did there? Yep, just an N. So I had this fancy curly N. So I'm going to scroll down to the ends. Okay, here we are. And it was something like this guy. No, it was this guy here. So I copied it backspace and I'm going to, I'm going to right click so you can see what happens when you right click and paste and it just goes right in there. So there is everything that I did on Samantha. I got the fancy S and that A. I left these M and A just the way they were. I got a fancy in here, a TH and a fancy A. So you can see these little X's are where I typed in the, um, fancy characters. Is that really how this looks over here? Yep, that is what I did. Okay, so I've got all of it here. What I want you to do now is highlight this, this one up here, not down here. Come up here to where these little weird looking symbols are. Highlight all of that and copy it. You can right click and copy or you can do control C on your keyboard and it will copy it. Now, Come over into um, Cricut Design Space. You've already typed your word in. You've already got it here. You've already got it in Samantha Upright, but you just need to add the fancy stuff. So double click into your text box that already has your word in the font you want. 
Those are important. You already have to have the word that you want. Well, you don't really have to have the word, but you already have to have this text box with the font that you want or this won't work. So I've double clicked in. I'm going to delete everything I've got and I'm going to paste. I hit control V to paste that in. I could have right clicked and paste as well, but there it is. This is now exactly the same as this one up here. Let me make both of these a little bit smaller so you can see them side by side. And that's all there is to it. Um, I did a little extra step up here to make this one fancier, but I mean, that's it's really just some extra stuff that is not anything to do with this video. So I now have my word here and I need to weld all of this together so that it cuts beautifully and you know one letter doesn't cut through the middle of another letter it's going to be all welded and beautiful and it's going to be thick enough and it's going to be perfect so let me just go over everything one more time really really quickly get into font cloud get into samantha upright or samantha craft is what you're going to have type in your word go find your pretty characters let me see. Um, I'm just going to stick in a P here. I know this doesn't go. You click it, copy to your clipboard, come up here to your top and paste. And it types in whatever you want. Copy everything that you've got once it's looking the way you want it. Come into this uh, Cricut Design Space, open your text box, make sure you're in Samantha, and paste it in. And that's all there is to it, guys. It is really, really that easy. So, a couple things you need. You're gonna need um, a Font Cloud subscription. It's free, you just give them your email and they send you emails with new products. But it's worth it because this, um, this font manager is so amazing. You're gonna need your coupon code to get the Samantha Craft for $17. Again, make sure you're getting Samantha Craft so that it, um, cuts thick enough and then you need Cricut Design Space and your imagination. All right guys, we'll see you next time.